Hey guys, Ivan here, and this video we're gonna start with a little update of Big Remy, our current Mr. Olympia. This right here is his latest update, a proper physique update. It was about a week before the Pittsburgh Pro guest posing where he was supposed to show up, he didn't. Until this day we have no idea why did he miss it, but at least here he's set. This was his update from April 17th. And then after that, we doubted, a lot of people doubted that these photos are actually recent, are actually from that date. Especially after the apology video surfaced, in which he didn't look super massive as he usually is in the offseason. His nickname is Big Remy for a reason. This guy is usually like 350 pounds in the offseason, and here he doesn't really look like that. So people were worried, people were speculating, people were saying that he lost a lot of weight, that he's not going to be competing again, that this year Mr. Olympia is going to be his last, people are saying that he's not going to win again, they are thinking that he lost all this size, and here is his most recent story. Somebody took a video of him, he reposted it, and he <laughs> looks absolutely freaking massive i mean look at the size of those freaking delts those cannonballs right there yeah they're pumped but look at the entire body i mean he is looking like a freaking monster and big ram is not the type that exposes himself too much imagine what he would look like in a tank top he usually wears these kind of normal looking shirts with a little bit longer sleeves so you can't really see much but you can see that he is freaking massive and on Dennis James' IG Live, Big Remy reveals his current weight. Let me show you. Since people think you're smaller now, what's your weight right now? Uh, 152. 152 kilos. What's that in pounds? That's 335 freaking pounds. And that is freaking heavy, man, that's heavy. I mean, I'm from Serbia and here we use kilograms, so when I see this 152 kilos, wow, I mean, that, that sound crazy weight. I never saw a bodybuilder that heavy at that height. I can't imagine what that looks in person, but that is, that is one big bodybuilder, so no, Big Remy did not downsize, not even a little. And if the numbers don't mean much to you, you can look at this freaking monster right here and you can see for yourself, Big Remy is massive, right now he is humongous, look at this freaking guy, wow. So no, he did not downsize and if he comes on, he is going to win the Mr. Olympia again. I don't see anybody else beating him, not this year, maybe not in a couple of years, we'll see though. I think right now he is set in stone to be the Mr. Olympia. I mean, yeah, he missed that Pittsburgh pro gas posing, but I don't think the politics are gonna, are gonna affect him that much. So if he comes off, like he knows how to do, I mean, he's done that multiple times, and if that happens, then there is a lot of people who can beat him, you know, if he comes completely off with conditioning, uh, which can happen, we saw it before. But if he comes on with, that, with all that mess, he's going to dwarf everybody, and he's also very complete, not perfect by any means, but very complete, very good, and I think he's going to be the Mr. Olympia for a while. What do you guys think? And if you want to get that big, <laughs> just kidding, of course, you won't get that big drinking protein shakes, but this will definitely help, especially uh, during these uh, hot summer days. Uh, Old School Labs has a new flavor of vintage brown banana milkshake, it's refreshing. And it's a really high quality isolate protein powder, but it's not just whey isolate, it's also beef isolate and egg white protein. So it's like a complete meal, uh, instead you can just drink it and it tastes amazing. So guys, if you want to try this and support my channel by doing that, click in the link in the description of this video and use the code even for a 12% discount. Alright, next topic is about Anton Valiant versus Ian Valier. I'm not trying to start any rivalry or drama. I think Ian is going to absolutely destroy Anton, really, at Vancouver Pro. But Anton is bringing something pretty good. You're gonna see a posing video in a second. But I'm showing you this photo first because are you thinking the same thing I'm thinking? Do you remember what Ian posted yesterday? <laughs> It's the same photo, right? It's the exact same photo. A mirror selfie, they're both holding the phones, taking a photo in their mirrors, and they're both flexing the triceps. And here, as you can see, Antoine is showing a pretty good horseshoe, which is something Ian is criticized for, not really having great triceps. I talked about this in my previous video, we all know that Ian has uh, huge triceps, I mean, he wouldn't have 22 inch arms or whatever they are if he didn't have big triceps, but they don't really look that good, uh, especially in those uh, poses where he's showing that horseshoe, the front, ahead of the tricep, but here, 
Hantuan is kind of doing that better. <laughs> He's competing against Dian in a couple of weeks. So is he doing this on purpose or is this just an accident? I don't think it's an accident. I think Antoine knows exactly what he's doing. He's taking shots at Ian Wallier. I am not trying to start any drama. This is not gonna lead to anything, I'm sure. But isn't it obvious? <laughs> I don't think this is a coincidence. There is no way. No way. And if you compare these two photos, you will see that Antoine does have prettier abs, better triceps, better looking triceps at least. But as far as the muscularity, uh, Ian is known for having flat chest. But here, compared to, compared to Antoine, who also downsized because of his uh, health, I believe he had to downsize a little. And uh, yeah, Ian is Ian is smoking him in in the thickness department, chest-wise, shoulders, everything else. Really, I mean, Ian is just a mass monster, a freaking mass monster. Antoine, not so much. He does look very aesthetic. I mean, he is joking in his comment section that he's gonna do the classic. As you can see the question here in this uh, physique update that I'm gonna show you in a moment, uh, the very rude question was classic or 212, what's the mindset? And uh, he says, physique, if I can't make classic weight cutoff, I'm 7 pounds away. Obviously he's joking, he's not 7 pounds away from classic physique, we can see that he lost some size but not that much. So is he really gonna give uh, Ian a run for his money at Vancouver Pro? Maybe, we'll see. I don't know what he's gonna look like downsize, especially compared standing next to a freaking monster, Ian Valier. But does he look good? Yeah, he looks conditioned, he looks nice, he looks very aesthetic, yeah. He does look classic, but classic for a bodybuilding show. If he really did a classic physique show, he probably wouldn't look that classic. I mean, in classic physique, to turn pro, that's not that hard, you know, really. I mean, there are so many shows, there are so many pro cards uh, given away every year. So you can, you can do that. Most people can actually do that if they really wanted to. But if you talk about the top of the classic physique, you know, not even Mr. Olympia, because Mr. Olympia this year is going to have 50 competitors. Let's say top 20 in the world, that's the tip of the top. Those guys are really classic and you need to look absolutely extraordinary. To, to compare well against those guys. And no, I'm not seriously talking about uh, Antoine doing classic physique. Of course, he's gonna do bodybuilding and uh, he might be second at this show. What do you guys think? All right, next we have a physique update of Marcelo D'Angelis who was trying to fit the classic physique weight cap uh, only two weekends ago. And look at him now, he blew back up like crazy, like crazy, look at the size of this freaking guy right now. I mean, he used to be classic, almost classic, two weeks ago, two weeks ago, he gained so much. Uh, what happened here, I think this is just a really nasty rebound. I mean, after being hospitalized, not eating probably anything, and then trying to dehydrate and do all these crazy protocols, after that, when he started eating normally, I wouldn't even say force feeding, but eating normally, and maybe having some junk food, of course, he was he was struggling. He talked about his he was suffering to make that weight. After having through all that psychological uh, torture, he wanted, he definitely wanted to enjoy uh, some junk food, probably a lot of junk food. And as you guys know, that food contains a lot of salt, a lot of sodium. So he blew up, he blew up like crazy. He looks super full and round. I'm sure he's training like a maniac. He probably is on gear right now, of course. He wants to get all that size back that he lost trying to make the weight as soon as possible. And he's, he's doing a good job with that. <laughs> is that a good decision? Is that the healthiest decision to blow up as fast as he did? Maybe not. Maybe it's not the best thing for him, but I can, I can understand this when I think about it. And if you guys think about it, when you are a big guy, when you're a bodybuilder like he is, wherever he shows up, everybody knows him as a big guy. His personality revolves around being big. And now he loses all this weight trying to chase the classic physique weight cap. He also got sick, so he wasn't eating anything for a while. He didn't just lose fat and water. He lost some muscle, a lot of muscle probably. And I'm sure he wasn't very happy with his look, so what did he do? He blew up as fast as possible, and he did that successfully, so in about two weeks, he gained all this weight. Look at him now. He looks like a bodybuilder, like a proper bodybuilder right now. He looks so round, squarish even. And, you know, he announced this recently. He talked about this. He wants to do the Open from now on. 
he said he is going back to the open and back to the open he went as you can see right here he looks like a proper bodybuilder now was this smart to blow up this fast maybe not but it's done very often i'm sure he's gonna be fine but one thing is for sure his quote unquote classic physique days are over he is back in open bodybuilding who is gonna win Mr. Big Evolution Pro Show, also known as Portugal Pro? Is it gonna be this guy right here from Croatia, from over here, from Balkans, Petar Klancir? Maybe. I mean, Petar looks amazing at this point, and as you can see, it's not really much of a lineup, let's be honest. We have Morgan Asti. He is a freak, but he's like 7 foot tall and he's like 400 pounds, so it's definitely a sight to be seen, but on the stage, on the bodybuilding stage, you know, he, he, he doesn't look that good because of the height, so I don't think I can imagine him beating uh, these other three guys. Uh, as you can see, we have Petr Klanch here, we also have Vlad Suharuchko who looks freaky, right now he looks really massive, and he is heavy, I mean, this guy is really big, right now he's 273. And this was a week and a half out. So as you can see, he's conditioned, he's really massive. So he might be the favorite to win this show. Vascularity won't help him too much on stage, but these photos are freaking, uh, I don't know, crazy, insane. I'm guessing he was in sauna. I don't know if you guys ever went to sauna, but if you do and you're shredded, your veins pop up like crazy. I went to sauna once after my show, I was, I was shredded and I ate so much food after the show and uh, the next day I was so vascular, I remember, but it was not close to this, <laughs> I mean this guy, the size of his wings, and this is not varicose veins, it doesn't look anything like Nick Walker's uh, condition, no, these are just uh, normal veins, they are not normal looking because he's so shredded and he has so much blood in those legs, I'm guessing they did a little uh, carb up uh, trial a week before the show, they probably had a lot of salt as well, and he went to the sauna, and this is the result, uh, I would like uh, Vlad to explain why this occurred, uh, whatever, it doesn't matter, it just looks freaky, it won't help him too much on the stage. He's gonna be facing this guy as well, Tim Budesheim, so I'm guessing this is gonna be your top three, Petr Klanchir, Vlad Suhoruchko, and Tim Budesheim, and uh, personally, me, I'm having Petr Klanchir, because he's from Balkans, and because I really like his physique as well, uh, I really hope that he's going to bring it, again, I mean, realistically, he could be 1, 2, or 3, I don't think he's gonna go lower than that, but is he gonna win? I really hope so, it looks like he really nailed the conditioning in the past couple of weeks, which was the only thing that he could have improved on uh, in this time, I mean, he can't grow much muscle uh, this deep into prep, he can't get harder, drier, uh, more separated and stuff like that, I think he accomplished that, I think he's gonna look like a freak, and if he wins the show, he's going to the Mr. Olympia, I would really love to see that happen, we'll see, though, in a couple of days, and I'm gonna report on it here on this channel, so guys, stay tuned and subscribe to my channel, and if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, thank you so much guys for watching, all the best and bye-bye.